Alright, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make 3D clothing in Blender. Um, I got a few requests to make this video, so I figured why not make it now. So, to start off, what you want to do is you want to <laughs> import your character into Roblox Studio. And if you don't remember how to do that, all you need to do is get a plugin, the load character plugin, which is right here in the toolbox load character and there it is the free version remember you don't need the paid version the free version works just as fine all right so after you get that go to plugins load character and type in your character that you want to make with the 3d clothing now i already imported mine so just save time so as you do that you want to make sure their origin is in 0 comma 3 comma 0 all right and after that you just want to export everything so wait how you do that uh, just click on it export selection and then for accessories you just want to click on them so select it and control to select another one and then right click export selection now the only thing different we're doing for the 3d clothing is we want to delete this and this and then we want to export it once again now when you export everything, make sure they're in a separate file so no textures overwrite each other. Because we want every all the textures in this one. And after you're done exporting, we just want to move on to your editing software of choice. It could be GIMP, it could be Photoshop, it could be Photopea. Just anything you're comfortable with, just make sure you know how to use them. Alright, I'm going to be using my name GIMP, so... Let's go right to it. All right, in your Photoshop editing software, all you want to do is now is just open the clothing rig that we imported from Studio and delete anything that is not the clothing. So all the skin you just want to get rid of. You also want to get rid of the accessory textures and just make sure we only have the clothing. All right, there we are. Now after you do that, you just want to go to save and overwrite the handle that you already had. And now we can move on to Blender. Alright, now once we're in Blender, uh, I am using the Rhino Rig, so if you want to follow along the same exact things that I'm doing, um, I will leave a link to the Rhino Rig V2 in the description. But, let's carry on. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of this texture and then bring in our naked texture that we just imported from studio all right and once you imported that now we're going to want to import our accessories file import and then waverfront obj all right once we have our accessories you just want to attach them now which is as simple as clicking on them and then clicking on the rig uh make sure you hit shift so that you have both selected and then go into pose mode then you want to hit control P and then you just want to bone it. Alright, there we go. And we're going to want to go back to object mode. Now, this is the part where the 3D clipping comes in. Now, what you want to do is you want to select the parts that are everything but the head. And you don't want to select the lines in between like I just did, so make sure you select everything but the head. So, and after that, you just want to hit shift D and that's going to duplicate it. All right, now once you have it duplicated, what you want to do is then select one of the duplicated. You'll know it's duplicated because it has the O1 next to it. And you just want to hit the number up here to make a new texture. And then what you want to do after that is then you want to grab the clothing texture we made in GIMP. All right, now once you have it in, as you can see, it's going to look like our skin is not there. So... What you want to do is you want to connect alpha to alpha. And as you can see, now we can see our arm. All right. Now, after that, what you want to do is select all the body parts that we want with the clothing, which is the old ones. So let me just do that real quick. Now, the one you attach the clothing to, you want to select that one last. Then after that, you just want to control L and then link materials. And as you see, there is our clothing. Now, what we want to do after that is just scale the clothing up. So go into your 
little camera icon tab, object tab, sorry, and then just scale it up very small, not like a huge scale, so 1.05 should work. Um, let's actually go with 1.02. That should work. And then you just want to change each and every single one of them to 1.02. There we are. Now you just want to do that for the rest of them. So let me do that real fast. All right. And once you're finished with that, you just want to scroll on real close. And as you can see from this little slit, that we have 3D flowed in and that we can now add folds. All right, to add folds, first we want to do is go into Google and just search up clothing folds and you just want to click on it and save it to wherever you would like. Just make sure you know where it is. And then we're going to go back in the Blender. All right, now back in the Blender, what you want to do is you want to add a modifier in the modifiers tab. And then you want to add in a displacement. Then as you see, it's going to get very large. That's normal. Don't worry about it. Then you want to go to texture, new. And then what you want to do is just open up the clothing folds that we just got from Google. All right. And once you bring those into what you want to go back to is go back to your modifiers and go back to your displacement. And then you just want to lower the strength of it. Now you can lower it to whatever you want. Let's go with um, 0 0.2 again. All right, that looks a little big. So let's go with 0 0.1. There you go. All right, now you just want to do that with the rest of your clothing. So let me just do that real fast again. All right, when you're adding the other clothing, I forgot to mention, um, you want to add displacement to those two. And this time you just want to add in the texture we already have and then just turn down the shrink just like we did with the other ones all right now i'm going to go back and do all of them again so i'll be right back all right there we go now all your clothes should be 3d and you should be able to make move your rig along with the 3d clothing so if you just want to move it and the clothing moves is supposed to move with it there we are. Now let me just add an HRI. Alright, that's how you make 3D clothing in Blender. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys learned something. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I hope you have a good day.